Hi everyone, my name is Maria Paula, or MP for short, and this is Mike. And we are the founders of Oh My Brows Miami. We are one of the top rated brow studios in Coral Gables, Florida, in Miami. And the reason why we're here and that we wanted to do this video is because we wanted to educate you guys. On the daily at Oh My Brows, we get a lot of questions all of, the time all the time of people coming in and like hey is this true i heard that permanent makeup this 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 and this so i want to do this video just because we want to debunk the top 10 myths of permanent makeup so let's go let's do it okay guys so let's get started what is the first myth we're gonna debunk number one it's like a regular tattoo Yes. So a lot of people have this misconception of permanent makeup and they think that it is like a regular tattoo. This is a flat out myth. It is not. Regular body tattoos are done with completely different machines, completely different needles. They're really, really thick needles and groups of needles. And that's why it's considered permanent. And that's why it stays on your body forever. But that is not what we use for ombre powder. Okay. Ombre powder, we use very th a tiny machine, very thin. Thin, tiny needles. Oh, I couldn't thin, say thin. Very thin. thin. Very thin needles. <laughs> we use very tiny, thin needles. It's actually an acupuncture needle that we use. So you can kind of get an idea of how tiny it is. So complete with this is not true. Okay, guys, let's go on to number two. What is the second myth? Number two, it lasts forever. Yes, we get this all the time. Every day. It does not last forever. So what we do is considered SPMU, which stands for semi-permanent makeup. So it is not permanent. Again, going back to the first myth, since we don't use the same needles and the same machines that they use in regular body tattoos that do last forever, we only go through the top two layers of the skin with these needles. So we go through the epidermis and the dermis. Therefore, it stays only on the top layers of the skin. As you age, you start shedding your skin naturally uh, when your skin builds collagen. Therefore, the color is just going to get lighter and lighter until you need to come back for a touch-up. Number three. Number three. They will stay dark and look unnatural, a.k.a. Sharpie brows. No, nobody likes Sharpie brows. Agreed. So they will be dark the day of. And when I say dark, I don't mean super dark, like Sharpie black dark. No, definitely not. They're going to be a little bit dark, but very pretty. They're just going to look glam. Like if you just went and got your brows freshly done with a makeup artist. So they're going to be at that their darkest within the first two to three days. You're going to grow a scab. They're going to start kind of shedding. And when the scab falls off, that's when you're not your true color, like your new color will actually be there. So Give it time, trust the process. They will look very natural and powdery when they, when they finish, hence the name ombre powder brows. So they'll be very powdery and beautiful. What percentage would you say that they start lighting up? So depending on the client's skin, they'll feel anywhere from 10% lighter to even 60% lighter. So everyone heals completely different. There you go. Bye-bye, shoppy brows. <laughs> Let's move on to number four. Number four, my brow hairs will fall off. Definitely not. Oh no, that's... <laughs> no, it sounds like a funny question, but everyone has this fear. And I think it's a very valid fear. You think, holy crap, they're going in there with a machine, with needles, like my hair is definitely gonna fall off and not grow back. That is a complete myth, not true. Like I mentioned earlier, this is all because we only go through the top two layers of the skin. So we have the epidermis, the dermis, and the hypodermis. And your hair follicle is actually located in the hypodermis. Therefore, since we only go through the top two layers of the skin, that third layer where your hair follicles are located are untouched. So your hair will not fall off. It will actually keep on growing naturally. So we encourage, and you should come back on a monthly basis for your regular wax and your regular tweeds because your hair will still keep on growing. Myth number six. Number six. Ooh, a little bit of Spanish. I like it. Spanish I like it. I like it. Here. Number six. Ombre and microblading are the same. 
Oh my goodness. So we have two hours for this. Okay, so this is my number one myth no, of all time. You have one minute. <laughs> I literally have 30 seconds. <laughs> okay, so Omer pattern microblading are definitely not the same. Uh, there, uh, there's a huge, huge misconception that people think and tell me all the time. They're like, oh, I'm here for microblading, Omer powder. It's the same thing. No, it's not. So the biggest differences are in the tools that are used and of course the actual technique itself with microblading. What you use is a small blade and you're cutting through the skin, you're creating hair-like strokes and you're stuffing it with pigment. So you are physically cutting the skin. With ombre powder, what we do is machine work. So we, like I explained earlier, it's a machine, it's a needle that goes up and down really, really fast at those little dots like powder. And what we're doing is we're gently going over the top two layers of the skin. So what we're doing is shading and we're building that pigment up in layers and you have a full brow versus where microblading, you're going to have the hair strokes. So I'm going to do another video to go a little bit more in detail because this is definitely the number one question that we get all the time. Uh, so stay tuned for that, but just so you guys have an idea. Number seven. Number seven. Ouch. It's super painful. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. This is one of the biggest fears and myths that people go in with. So I, I love when people come to me and they're like, oh my God, is this going to hurt? This is going to be so painful. I've heard it's the worst. No, that is definitely a myth. But of course, it depends on your pain tolerance because everyone has different pain tolerances. I will tell you, most of my clients are chatting up with me. They fall asleep. They don't even notice. The only part where you will feel something is in the beginning. So in the beginning, I will do something called an outline and a first pass. And what that basically is, I just gently scratch the surface of your skin to open up your pores. Once your pores are open, I'll apply the numbing right away. I'll leave it for about 10 minutes. And as soon as those 10 minutes are up, I'm going to start working and you're not going to feel anything. And the great thing is that this numbing can be reapplied throughout the procedure. So honestly, you're going to be super comfortable. You're not even going to worry about it. All right, so let's hit number eight. Number eight, I won't be able to decide my shape. So this is all going to depend on your artist mostly, but the way that I personally work, and I really think that all artists should work like this, which a lot of them don't, but anyways, to me, the most important thing is that you love your design because it is your face, it is your brows that you see them every day. I literally see you that one time and I'll see you throughout the touch-ups and hopefully you'll be coming in for, you know, your monthly waxes or just to say hi or whatever. But for me, it's very, very important for you to love your shape. So we do come do the whole mapping at first. I will do everything. I'll ask you questions, what you like, what you don't like, show me pictures, this and that. I'll explain to you a lot of things and then I'll show you the design once you look at this design and you tell me you love it, we proceed. If you don't love it, we do not proceed until you don't love it. I do all the little tweaks and all the little things to make sure that you absolutely are obsessed with the shape before we proceed. Myth number nine. Numero nueve. PMU heals the same for everybody. No, this is not true. This, this does not heal for everyone. This is what I tell all my clients is, you know, your best friend got it done. It doesn't mean your results are going to be exactly the same as your best friend. This is all going to depend mainly on your skin type and your daily activities. So somebody with oily skin, this is going to last a little bit less. You're probably going to need to come in for your yearly touch-ups or a color boost, like I like to call it. Uh, somebody with dry skin, this can definitely last two to three years or even more. It just really, really depends on your skin type. Not only that is on your activities. If you're somebody who's out in the sun all the time, you're hiking, you're in the beach 24 seven, it could also last a little bit less than someone who's mainly indoors and is always just inside, doesn't go out too much, then on them, it could last a little bit longer. So it's a combination of those things that will give you kind of like what you're going, your heal results are gonna be. Alrighty, we are here, the final myth. Tell us what is the 10th myth. Number 10, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> cover ups and corrections are easy. Oh no, I wish they were. So cover ups and corrections are perhaps the hardest thing to do in permanent makeup. So what we have to do when somebody comes in with a cover up is a lot of therapy. I like to call it. <laughs> I like to set the correct expectations with you. I'll go over, I'll tell you what I can and what we can't do. So there's a lot of things that goes into corrections, uh, especially when you come in with a natural color. A lot of people, I'm sure you guys have seen, have like red brows, blue brows, green brows. 
And when you need to color correct, you always need to go a little bit thicker in the shape and you need to go a little bit darker. So always have the correct expectations and talk to your artist and ask all the questions that you need to, to make sure to see if that's the right thing for you, or if maybe you should just get a tattoo removal. So there we have it. Those are the top 10 myths debunked. Yes, we did it guys. Mm -hmm. So thank you for tuning in. If you watched this whole video, I really hope you guys learned a little bit more about permanent makeup. And we hope that this helps you guys make the best decision for you, for your face, for your brows. And that's it. Stay tuned for more videos. So for more content, or if they have any questions, where can they find you, MP? Yes, yeah, so we are on Instagram at oh my brows Miami. You can also visit our website at ohmybrowsmiami.com. Make sure if you guys like these videos, we are going to be doing a lot more of them. We feel like this is something that is needed, especially for this industry at the end of the day. It is a tattoo on your face. So the more that we can get information out there and help you guys, like that's the best thing we'll do. All right. Thank you guys for Thank tuning you. in. Bye. Later. These are the things you should be filming for the bloopers. What bloopers? Thank God. This is from the waist up. Do I have cat hairs? Or dog hairs? No. My legs are really hairy. Yeah. They're super hairy, Kibana. Like Jumanji? Yeah, pretty much. You're filming already, aren't you? Oh, f I messed up. <laughs> Number three, they will stay dark and look natural, aka the Sharpie brows. It's unnatural, babe. You said natural. <laughs> <laughs> Blooper! Don't say the Sharpie brows. Sharpie brows? You the said Sharpie the brows. Sharpie brows. Sharpie brows. <laughs> Myth number five. Halfway through. What is the question? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What is that? What is that? It was a belly. My, be my belly popped out? No, it was to say about pregnant. <laughs> Babe, you scared me. I thought something, I thought I looked fat. Let's move on to number, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> you looked at me. Um, yeah. Sorry. No, Sorry. Hey, take two. Sorry. Okay. Number 10. Beep, 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 beep. So they, ooh, was this, are we doing? Uh, uh, Whatever you want. Uh, okay, uh, so uh, I'm go ahead and, no, I don't like that. What's going on? Okay, that was better, right? All right, take 459. <laughs> oh my God, he's going to freak out. He's going to freak out. All right. Take. Okay, ready? Come on, boy. <laughs> Look that way. See Look at the bye. camera. Look at the camera. Say bye. Look at the camera. Ah!